I'm Laura and I'm going to talk about my media fast. So I wanted to do my media fast when I was at uni. I had to be on campus because um, I didn't really want to do it when I was at home or on a weekend because I knew for a fact I was just going to sit in bed all day and do nothing, uh, which is quite boring. Um, and also I wanted to see if someone like our age could actually go a day without coming into contact with any media, which it is kind of impossible, but I wanted to sort of just try it really and see how much media we are we, are, we do actually come in contact with without even like noticing. Um, so I woke up on the day my media fast to my alarm, which was on my phone. But we can forget about that because that doesn't count because I just forgot to turn my phone off because I don't actually have my own alarm. Off my name, granddad. Um, uh, so that was okay. And then I cheekily planned to go for breakfast downstairs, but I planned it the day before so I didn't have to use my phone because uh, my friend wanted us to try this disgusting breakfast of egg bread, bacon, bananas, blueberries, and maple syrup. Sounds disgusting, was actually quite nice. Um, so that was really awkward to sort of plan. We just had to sort of guess when we'd be ready and like when we could like go down. Um, and then the same thing sort of happened when I tried to plan going to the gym. We just sort of had to kind of talk through other people, and sort of guess when each other would be ready. Um, then I was sort of a loner for a little while because my friend's car broke down and they had to go to the garage and they had no way of telling me. So I just had to like slob it for a bit by myself. And then when they got back, I went to the gym uh, with one of my friends and we um, again struggled to plan it. Got to the gym, TVs on all the machines. I had to like flick the screen on some boring little game screen to like avoid that. And then obviously like the media, that, the music that they're playing to the actual gym is like completely unavoidable. So I couldn't do anything about that. Um, but still tried and then what else did you do? I had a seminar uh, walking onto campus in silence without my iPad was weird uh, didn't like that and then obviously we had the, the seminar we had um, was on a PowerPoint um, on the computer so like as a student you can't you can't avoid that especially as well walking onto campus posters everywhere join this society come to this club do this do that they're like advertising everything posters are covered campus is covered in posters um and then when i got back from my um seminar which also was weird because i didn't have my phone on me because i decided to leave it in the flat um i found it really strange that i concentrated a lot more because I didn't have like my phone as that distraction like I do in lectures and seminars all the rest of the time so that was like it was nice actually to just sort of be away from it for a bit and then later on I came back and wanted some lunch and normally I catch up on my amazing Hollyoaks while I'm eating lunch love a bit of Hollyoaks um but I couldn't do that because well I couldn't watch telly or like watch it online um, and I couldn't even have my music on. So that was really awkward because I don't like silences anyway. So sitting in silence, eating was just weird. And then I thought, oh, well, I'm going to spend some time with my friends because, like, if I spend time with my friends, it'll stop me being by myself and, like, feeling really bored and, like, a proper loner because I couldn't do anything. Um, so I went upstairs to see one of my friends and we ended up in a discussion about passion fruit and dragon fruit and she just sat there googling it and I was like I can't see it so she knew like the answer to whatever it was we were talking about and I had to wait till the next day to like actually find out what what was going on um, which was really annoying because you know when you know something but you don't know it and then you've got to try and find out and normally you know you can just oh hop on google couldn't do that no and then I uh, went to see another one of my friends, walked in his room, he had the telly on. I was like, I had to run out, that was really embarrassing, had to ask him to turn it off. So in a way I sort of felt like I was affecting everyone else just because like, I wasn't using media. Because if you don't use media you're pretty weird, like in like, other people's eyes. Like my friend doesn't have a telly and people are like, what, you don't have a telly at home? And she's like, no, like that's just 
how she's been brought up. Like we've all been brought up with like phones and stuff, so we take it for granted more. Um, so that's why I think I found it so weird, like not having my phone there with me all the time. Like I've got a watch, but I forgot to put it on, so I couldn't like keep checking my phone all day for the time. So I had to keep asking everyone, and then because I wanted to do like I wanted to be a proper a proper student, and it was a Wednesday night. Gotta go out on a Wednesday. Um, still be up for that 9 a.m. though. Um, had to go out and try and avoid media on a night out. So uh, pre drinks was all right. Just a bit of music, some Spotify adverts. But not my fault. I couldn't ask him to turn it off because that'd be rude. Um, and then uh, when we went out, I uh, didn't have my phone on me because I left it in the flat because I was like, no, no distractions, no temptation. And uh, I ended up having to call an ambulance and call some girl's friends because she was coming out of sugar, like in tears. And I was like, what's wrong? And she showed me a knee and all like this part of her knee was just like hanging off. So I had to like hold a knee back on for her, ring an ambulance, like had to use my friend's phone for the ambulance and like got her to bring her friends and stuff. So really like that shows how important like having a phone and having like media in our lives actually is like without it it should have had a pants down basically like literally all of us would uh it'd be disastrous like without like our phones we wouldn't have been able to like call that ambulance like anything could have happened and like i found myself by myself as well like i was on my own i couldn't ring my friends and get them to come and find me i had to like run around like a lunatic looking for them so, you know, we, uh, we do rely on media and our phones a lot, but with good reason, I think. So, uh, the next day, I woke up in the morning, checked my phone, had a couple of texts off the girl's friends, so that which was nice to know that she was okay. Um, also, had some texts off my friends who I hadn't texted back to the day before, um, asking, like, why have you been ignoring me and everything. And, like, I think... We sort of take now, like, especially people our age, sort of take for granted, um, like, technology, like our phone and everything, because we just assume that everyone else is going to have a phone, and if they don't, then it's like, why don't you have a phone? So, they don't, people wouldn't have thought, oh, um, she's probably not using a phone for a day. They'd just, like, straight away assume that, like, I'm ignoring them or something. Um, so, I felt quite bad because I forgot to tell people that I was doing my media fast. Um, but it was alright once they explained. They thought I was a little bit weird for not doing it for a day, but anyone would when you're so used to it. Uh, I also checked on my Facebook and Twitter and everything. Um, and I'd had a Facebook inbox off my dad, who is in Afghanistan at the minute. And um, he, like inbox me to say hi and sort of check in so it's really nice that like we have like we're so lucky to have these forms of media so that we can keep in contact with people that are like so far away like if I didn't have all this media I wouldn't be able to stay in contact with my dad like I can't call him and stuff but with Facebook there and I can write to him and speak to him like that so we are really really lucky but at the same time like it's maybe maybe we've gone like too far like there's so many we've got so many different ways to communicate with people like facebook twitter um we've got phones so we can text someone call someone blackberry message someone direct message someone inbox someone whatsapp them i message like there's literally loads like do we really need that many and like you can still like write to someone like i write to my dad um but then like you think about it and you're like is is writing a form of media i like is it? Because, like, the first forms of media was, like, tall, so would a pen be classed as a tall? Um, and then it's, like, what else is media? Like, because I finally got to catch up on my Hollyoaks. It is going down. Um, but, yeah, I got to catch up on my Hollyoaks, and I, I noticed that, like, there's adverts in between, um, like, in between the programme. Any programme you watch, except for on BBC, there's adverts. But even on BBC, there's adverts for other programmes. Um... And then I, me and my friend made a hilarious YouTube video of us doing a music video a few weeks ago and we decided to watch that. Adverts on that, um, 
then Facebook as well, you got adverts all down the side, you go on Twitter, occasionally people will be advertising stuff, like you get celebrities and they're like saying how good all these different brands are and it's like maybe someone's paying them to say it um, and then what else, like I sort of thought about like when I was thinking about what is media like, uh, me and my friend were doing some online shopping uh, the next day and um, they had these t-shirts in Topshop with MTV written on them and that could be classed as a form of media because whoever wears it is basically a walking advert for MTV um, so then it's like a people a form of media like the clothes we wear we're like trying to communicate something to everyone else like that the way we wear our hair the makeup we wear our clothes we get from certain shops are we advertising that shop like there's so many different ways you can read into things and um, also, like, later that day, uh, my friend decided it would be a good idea to try on my denim jacket, which, it, it's not this one, it's tighter than this, and it's got, like, short sleeves, and it's, like, cropped as well, so you can wear it with maxi dress in the summer, and um, he decided to try on, and we all thought, like, he's, like, the only boy, and then there's a group of girls, and we was, like crying laughing it was the funniest thing i've ever seen but one of our friends wasn't there to see it so obviously before we like helped him out of his pathetic struggle to get out of his jacket we thought wow perfect photo opportunity instagrammed it snapchatted it to all our friends i put it on facebook tweeted it it got a couple of favorites actually um so like everyone like can everyone can see that picture even though they weren't there like you can be in places that you aren't like um, people can send you, like my friend went to New Zealand recently, she took pictures of New Zealand, I wasn't there but I got to see what she'd see so we are really really lucky to have all these forms of media to be able to be in places that we're not in or see things that we'd never be able to see normally and experience things we can't experience and speak to people that are millions of miles away right? but at the same time has it gone too far or how, how far can it go? Everyone everyone enjoys it, but it could it could get a lot worse. But at the minute, I think we're all safe.